I'm John Hinkle, the senior pastor of First Presbyterian Church. This is your Saturday morning preview of Sunday morning sermon. And as you can, well, maybe you can't, but as you can see, uh, it is Friday. So uh, uh, the sermon's ready. I just got to tweak it here and there, but it's it's ready. And we're, as you know, uh, we're looking at the fifth point of Barman uh, on Reformation Sunday which in Reformation Sunday, we celebrate the Reformation of the Church, that time when men like Martin Luther and John Calvin, uh, John Wycliffe, John Huss, uh, out of great faith, wanted to reclaim the church and take it away from superstitions and traditions that had nothing to do with Scripture or with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, interesting, as we look at our text this morning, it is coming from Peter, who lives in a world where church, or in this case, the Roman pagan religions of the day in the state, were one and the same. So much so that the Caesars and emperors of Rome declared themselves to be living gods on earth. So that the state and church, if you will, we're, like I said, one in the same. What Peter reminds the church is that the church isn't about the state, nor should the state be about the church. And we, we would kind of call that what? The separation of church and state. And one of the things that was happening in Nazi Germany at the time Barman was written was just that. It wasn't, as we talked about in the fourth part of Borman, where the state was telling the church who they should appoint to office. But if you look at Nazi documents, they truly believed that eventually the state or Nazism would replace the church. Now, that's hard for us to fathom, but, but that was the ultimate goal of Adolf Hitler that eventually the Aryan race would rise so high uh, and be so great that there wouldn't be a need for religion. Now, what, what I find striking, and, and you know, I'm an amateur uh, student of history, is how, the, how those extremes so much want to get rid of the church. Uh, we see this not only in Nazi Germany, but we also see this in Stalin's Soviet Union. Uh, to totally wipe away this mechanism that we call the church. Well, Barman wants to make one thing very clear. There are some things that the church is called to do, and there are other things that the state is called to do. The church shouldn't be responsible for building roads. The, the church shouldn't be uh, uh, responsible for making sure that we have, you know, a septic system. Uh, or clean water. The church needs to be responsible for the spiritual and physical needs, not only of its people, but of the community. So on this Reformation Sunday, we will relook about, you know, why the church and why the state and why the two need to be separated. Uh, as always, let me just remind you, it is Reformation Sunday. Ryan, our bagpiper, is ready to go. He's excited to come back and worship with us. Uh, so he will be at both the 8.30 and 11 o'clock service. Um, it's just, I love Reformation Sunday. The ruling elders of the church will gather for lunch after the 11 o'clock service. Uh, it's, it's just a great Sunday of worship. So I hope to see you. Uh, shout out to Glenn Emery and Will Fraley. Uh, and then my new su big super fan, new big super fan of not only Saturday morning preview of Sunday morning sermon, but the Monday morning wake up call, Hayden Steele. I hope you're listening, Hayden. I'll tell you the truth, Hayden. I'm so glad you listened. Listen, y'all have a great day and we'll see you soon.